The greatest love story of all time. That is a claim. I know this one because every ninth grader reads this book. I'm drawing a blank here. Today we're gonna see how well you know some 60s movies. Oh no. All right, we'll get ready for lots of zeros on the board today. <laughs> I don't even think I've ever seen a 60s movie. I don't even know what happened in the 60s. Oh my God, you guys are making me reach. We're gonna show you the poster with the title blurred out and see if you can guess the movie. 60s posters, this should be interesting. No clue how good I'm gonna do about on this one. I have no idea. Cause I'm, I'm really good with these kind of things. I love older movies, but Sometimes I'll just blank. Here's your first poster, do you know it? Alfred Hitchcock. I have no idea. No, but the name Alfred Hitchcock <laughs> sounds familiar. It's a thriller maybe? I'm drawing a blank here. Alfred Hitchcock's, I know who he is, and I, I know most of his movies. It's Alfred Hitchcock, so it's like, and then the blonde lady's making me think like, is it Psycho? Oh, I do. Psycho. I recognize the actress, Alfred Hitchcock, I'm a big fan of. Is this Psycho? This is... Psycho? I don't know that one. <laughs> Psycho! <clears throat> That's so frustrating, because I've seen Psycho. I've only seen the one scene everyone's seen with the, the, the shower scene, you know, that for its time was like the craziest thing of all time. Is that that one movie that everybody like thinks is like the craziest scene at the end where he's just like staring at the camera? I've seen like clips of that, but I didn't know that it was this movie. <laughs> Here is another, do you know this one? Uh, uh, we all know this lady. No, I don't know this one. Audrey Hepburn, like I know these people. I'm just not getting these movie titles. I recognize the actress, but I, I don't, I'm not getting this one. This is gonna be frustrating. Singing in the rain, I don't think it is. I feel like I've heard of Mickey Rooney, but I've never seen a poster for this. Oh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's Breakfast at Tiffany's, right? Breakfast at Tiffany's. This is? Breakfast at Tiffany's. Okay, so I, I've heard of this, but not like the way I've heard of like Psycho, you know? No, that makes so much sense. Uh, I wouldn't recognize it by the poster, but I've heard Breakfast at, Breakfast at Tiffany's. You know what? I just don't know these movies. It's in the 60s. I'm a 2000s baby, so you guys are making me reach in the depths of my memory. Do you know this one? No, I don't. I don't think I know who this is, or what this is. Gregory Peck and a book. This is To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. This is To Kill a Mockingbird. I know this one because every ninth grader reads this book. This one's To Kill a Mockingbird. This one is To Kill a Mockingbird. I've never seen To Kill a Mockingbird, but I've read it. To Kill a Mockingbird, that's iconic. Yeah, but I've never seen this movie poster before. I read this book actually in like uh, 10th grade. It was actually one of the books that it's assigned, but that I actually enjoyed. That's just like good moral conflict. It deals with like injustice and like, you know, racism. I know it takes place in the, the Great Depression. I know it, it's about a court. An African-American was being framed or uh, they accused him, falsely accused him. It's a very dark tone. To Kill a Mockingbird is actually Clark Kent's favorite movie in the Superman comics. Oh. I didn't know that. That's an interesting fact. I didn't know that. I can see why, because like Clark Kent like stands for justice and all that stuff, and so does the lawyer. It's a good book. You should, if you haven't read it, it's. I know it's hard to get through, especially for newer generations. They're like, oh, why are we reading these books in school? Which I can say about a lot of books, but things like Gatsby and this one are some of my favorites. Do you know this movie? No, I don't. I have no idea. No, it's some kind of robbery. They're taking trains, they're taking banks, and they're taking one piece of baggage. I don't know. I've never seen this before, and I don't recognize names either. And usually, like, if I get the movie, it's because of the names. I know Robert Redford, and I've heard of Paul Newman, and I have no idea what this is. Robert Redford, I'm a big f Paul Newman, I'm big fans of. Wait, this looks familiar. I remember this is the movie where they're stuck inside the church and they're getting ready to load up, then they run out and they start shooting. I don't think I'm gonna get the title. It sounds so familiar. This one is Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Who makes a movie title like that? I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. I have no idea what it's about. I've heard of it, but 
Rarely, not like something that's been input into my brain all the time. I've never heard of that. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm doing so bad. Here's another, do you know this one? Okay, let's see Barbara Streisand. <laughs> I don't think I know this one. I am also drawing a blank on this one. Academy Award winner, Best Actress, Barbara Streisand. Okay, that totally rings bells. I don't think I'm gonna get this one. I totally have seen this poster. It has Barbara Streisand. Is that Funny Girl? Oh, Funny Girl. This one is... Funny Girl. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. Oh, I never saw that movie. It's on my list of things to watch. Oh my god, if I only read a little closer, I would have known. Bar Barbara Streisand. I don't know anything about Funny Girl, like the movie, the music, but like the only thing I know is like Glee and then How to Rain on My Friend. It's loosely based on the life and career of Broadway and film star comedian Fanny Bryce and her stormy relationship with entrepreneur and gambler Nikki Arnstein. That sounds like a pretty fun movie. <laughs> wow, sounds like it would be an interesting relationship. Never a dull moment with that one. I like when people make their lives movies because it's just like more interesting and more relatable. Next one, do you know it? Uh, Pink Panther. Um, the Pink Panther? The Pink Panther... movie? I mean, everything's pink and there's a panther in it, so I mean, obviously, it's Pink Panther. You only live once, so see Pink Panther twice. This is the Pink Panther. I did not know that the Pink Panther came out in the 60s. Is that really 60s? Wow. I don't even remember what the Pink Panther's about. I just know, but um, but um, but um, but um. <laughs> We've got one more for you. Do you know this one? No, I don't. No, I got nothing. The greatest love story of all time. That is a claim. I have no idea. The greatest love story of all time? And I don't even know what it is. Is this Romeo and Juliet? Oh, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet, right? This is the poster for Romeo and Juliet. <clears throat> I've seen Romeo and Juliet before. I didn't know that was the post savory. <laughs> this film won Academy Awards for Best Cinematography and Best Costume Design. It also was nominated for Best Director and Best Picture, making it the last Shakespearean film to be nominated for Best Picture to date. Really? I would I would think there would be more. Wow. Hmm. I don't think I've watched the like this version. I think I've seen the newer ones or whatever, but I've never watched this one. I did better than I thought I was gonna do, to be honest. I got about half right, so I'll, I'll give myself a pat on the back. 60 movies are interesting. They're like really retro-y, but they're also very good, and sometimes the message between the movies are really good too, so watch them if you can. for watching Do They Know It on the React channel. Don't miss out, make sure to subscribe for new shows every day. If you like this episode, then hit that like button. What's your favorite 60s movie? Let us know in the comments. Bye everyone. Hey guys, Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. Thanks so much for checking out these 60s movies with us today. Be sure to hit that bell to be notified when the next episode releases. See you next time.